Charlie Squad. Moving up to the bridge. Affirmative. Go ahead and move in, Charlie Squad. Tank support is in route. Roger. No resistance yet. Something's happening. We've known it for a long time. The West knew it. Here's the problem. America is addicted to oil. oil, oil. It is inconceivable to me that our children will be able to maintain the American way of life and that the world will be full of resource-based wars of all kinds. The East knew it. We've known it for a century. There is no doubt about our absolute and complete dependence on oil. Without oil, civilization as we know it could not exist. Oil was running out. It's what we grew up in. Post Middle East, post peak oil, post everything. What they called the long emergency. It started slow. Little things at first, lines at the pump. That hot summer of 2008, when the blackouts started lasting weeks. The avian influenza hit in 09. I got taken out of school when there wasn't enough vaccine. They said it would get better. Something would save us. Biofuels, solar power, cleaner nuke plants maybe. The depression hit in 2012. Africa ran out of food, then we did too. People stopped trying to do anything about the problems and just tried to survive. We'd watched them starve for 40 years and it didn't seem real. But pretty soon the scenes we used to watch on the news were happening just down the street. It's been happening for years. Now we're at the tipping point. I was 16 when the Chinese and the Russians figured out they'd rather fight us than each other. We didn't waste time forming the coalition. Now, we're staring each other down across the last wells in the Caspian. I left school for the affiliated press and they sent me overseas. Out here in Turkmenistan, you can see it clearer. In little prefab towns, the oil boom left in Central Asia. This is where it's going to happen in towns too small to have a name, built in two weeks by oil industry contractors. It's 2024, the 21st century. People ask me how we let this happen. I tell them, we always knew. The storm is coming.
three minutes. Thanks for the update, Skipper, but I'm still waiting for my in-flight meal. <laughs> oh, dumbass. <laughs> so, you guys just rotating in? Ah, you must be the local paparazzi. Wise up, Rayleigh. Yeah, we're coming off disaster relief in Anchorage. We're being brought in to control the coalition's oil fields. Staff Sergeant Whitburn, Delta Chalk Leader. Andrews, uh, affiliated press. I'm doing a piece on all the military deployments in the Caspian. Gonna make you guys heroes. Too late for that, Pops. I was born a hero. Huh, a hero assigned to guard duty. Interesting. Coming up on the pipe. Welcome to summer camp, boys. You kidding me? They said there was a town. More like a mining camp. It's a dump. A uh, pretty valuable dump, then. Most of the world's remaining oil is about 100 miles from here. Is that so, Princeton? Well, then why don't we... Oh, oh, shit! What the hell was that? Mayday! Mayday! You like the one? Yes, sir! I know! We just lost the town right there! Yeah, Sergeant's hit! Back and fire! Put your head down, Bradley! We're losing him! Captain, get us out of here now! Incoming! Yeah, we're losing him! Yeah, we're losing him! Yeah, we're losing him! Yeah, we're losing him! Caspian Central Relay. Red Star's pouring over the Turkmenistan border. What? This is supposed to be a treaty. Think about it. Blackouts, starvation, disease, economies are nearly collapsed. The Caspian and all its oil, it, it's been a powder keg just waiting to blow. This World War III, Princeton? That's how it started. Was it World War III? We didn't know. But one thing we all knew, Red Star forces had hit hard. Nearly all of the coalition forces stationed in Turkmenistan were gone. That's how it started. Was it World War III? We didn't know. But one thing we all knew, Red Star forces had hit hard. Nearly all of the coalition forces stationed in Turkmenistan were gone. Better us than them. That's what I say. Planes, nothing from hydrogen, nothing from fusion. Thought there was supposed to be something to get the shit done Listen, right. Finch, all I know is that shit didn't pan out. Now my family has to eat from a bread line. Sergeant Thompson, we're on approach. All right, men, listen close. And for those of you who haven't yet had the pleasure of my command, listen close. Great dogs have been taking some shit lately. First we get drowned in Alaska, then Red Star ambushes our asses in goddamn Turkmenistan. Well, now it's our turn to go on the offensive to make the Red Star wish they stayed the hell home. Hell yeah, because we are straight dogs. We can take it and we can dish it out. That's what I want to hear. Once we're on the ground, command will be patching in with the final mission detail. Rack your gear and get ready to deploy. Ticket home. Hell yeah. 
don't pack your things yet. You don't get the news I do. Fighting spread to the Korean borders and the South China Seas. Last night, China took Taiwan. With China occupied on two fronts, Russia's getting desperate, reckless. Who knows what they're capable of? So how far you think this thing's gonna go? At the rate we're going, it's either Washington or Moscow. That was payback. A major Red Star tank factory not simply destroyed, but even worse for the Red Star, captured. Because in an age of desperation that restricts every human endeavor, control of resources is ever precious. We're just mopping up. A few scattered pockets of resistance, but that won't last long. So, what's your plan now that all this is over? Over? This isn't over. There's already reports of the Russians setting up a government in exile. And the Chinese are massing on the borders. It's always doom and gloom with you, Princeton. More conflict. That's all any of us could count on in the future. This wasn't the end, not by a long shot. Maybe all we've been doing is buying time, buying time for those back home to find an answer. Hydrogen, fusion, something new, who knows. But there's always hope, to heal old wounds, to make a new start. Someday this war will end, and hopefully those that have survived will have learned enough not to make the same mistakes, to start fresh, I hope I'm there to see that. I really do.